coronavirus. You heard about it. It started in China. Yeah. So, so, so it's really spread a lot in China. And in fact, from there, it spread to other countries. It, like Italy and Korea and uh, Iran, Iraq, and even some here in the United States. Okay? And so sometimes some people are getting sick because of this coronavirus. And the hard thing is, is that for some people, if they're already sick or if they're elderly, they get much sicker than you and I would. In fact, some of them get so sick that they die. Okay? So it's a... And you don't have to get it Right. Children can get it also, and some uh, kids who are very small might also have a hard time with this, right? Okay? So you may have heard about all of this, or if you haven't, you're hearing it from me right now. Now, there's two things I want you to understand. One is... We don't need to be afraid, okay? Every time that an angel comes to talk to anybody in the Bible, the first thing they say is, don't be afraid, right? That's God's message to us. We don't need to be afraid. And I'm saying this to the grown-ups, too. We really don't need to get involved in all of the panicking that other people are doing. We don't have to do that. And we want to be calm, and yet at the same time, there are some things. So the second thing is that I want us to do some things, okay? Some of them are things that we want to do here at church. Now, we're really not very far along as far as the number of people in Connecticut. There's only two people that I know of in the whole, whole state of Connecticut. But you never know. So just to, just, just to get ourselves in practice, we're going to try to remember not to hug each other when we're in church. I know. It's hard, isn't it? And we're not going to shake hands with each other. What? Well, part of it is because one of the ways that people get this from coronavirus is through their hands, especially. I know, but we're getting ready to, we're, we're going to get used to it in case that happens. Because we wouldn't want anybody, especially some of our older members, to get really sick with them. We want, we want to take care of them and be nice to them and good to them. And we wouldn't want anybody else who might be uh, a little bit sicker than others to do to this. So, so we're just going to be, be, take precautions. That's what we're calling We don't need to panic. We don't need to be afraid. But we can do some things as, do you know what the word precaution means? Okay, what would be a good example of precaution? Um, when, when, uh, when I was a kid, I had bunk beds. And when I would go up, up to the top bunk to sleep, there was a little rail that I could pull up. And the reason for that was because I didn't want to fall out of bed from the top bunk. Do you understand what I'm saying? Have you ever fallen out of bed? Yeah, no. No, you have. <laughs> and when you're on a regular bed, it's not that big of a deal, right? But when, it's, when you're way, way up high and you fall off. So I would take, I would pull up that rail to stop me from being able to fall down. That was called, that's called taking a precaution, doing something ahead of time to, to stop a problem that you think might happen otherwise, okay? So we're going to take precautions like washing our hands a lot, a lot more than we usually do. And when we wash our hands, we can wash them very thoroughly, right? And when we wash, one way to make sure that we know how, that we're washing long enough is to say maybe uh, something that takes about 20 seconds to, to finish. For example, you can sing Happy Birthday, the Happy Birthday song twice while you're washing your hands. And when you're done, you know that you've washed all of right? You've probably heard this before. 
mid uh, about, it's a, that's about the right amount of time, right? And, or you can, another way you can do it, you can say the Lord's Prayer. That takes about the right amount of time for you to wash your hands. Or you can pray another prayer that takes about that time. Some songs uh, that you can sing. What was the one you were talking about? But you're on the spot. You know, twinkle, twinkle, little star. You can sing that a couple of times. You know, but you understand what I'm saying. So we can wash our hands very carefully, right? Whenever we go into a crowd, or whenever we are about to eat anything, or anything like that, right? We should already be washing our hands a lot anyway, right? And uh, then also, we're going to try not to touch our face. That's really hard to do, isn't it? But, but you try not to touch your face. Uh, probably not a good idea to even touch your hair, unless you're combing it, and then you're using something to comb it, right? What if you put shampoo in? You still probably don't want to, okay? And, like we said, when we come together, we're going to show different ways that we're glad to see people than we usually do. We're going to, instead of hugging them or, or that kind of thing, we're going to practice and get used to uh, either... Well, somebody talk, we've talked about maybe doing rubbing, bumping elbows. You want to show me real? Well, like that. Some people have said that's not such a good idea because we tend to call for it. So another way to do it is just say, hello, I'm so glad to see you. Or you can flash a peace sign and say, peace to you. The peace of the Lord be with you. But we're going to find some ways. We're going to learn how to communicate that we're glad to see each other in some other ways besides hugging or shaking hands, okay? Yep. Yeah. Maybe my best friend has a foot. You have a foot? Oh, oh you greet each other with, by kicking your feet? Oh, then you do a fist bump. Well, you know, I can't tell you what to do at school. I suspect your teachers may have some things that they will want you to do there, and I want you to pay attention to them. But I'm talking about here at church. Now, that's the hand washing we do all the time whether we're at school, church, or home, right? But the, the different ways of showing that we're glad to see each other, we're going to try to do that here. Um, and, and remember, all this time, we don't need to be afraid. We're all right. But we're going to just to, to, we're going to be wise, and we're going to take some precautions. So, and get used to doing that before things get worse, which we pray they don't, but just in case they do, we'll, we'll go from there, okay? Does that sound all right to you? Are we going to be able to do that? Okay, let's pray and ask God to help us to do all the right things, okay? Lord, we pray over this situation that is happening in our world. All over the world, different nations and countries are finding that there are people who are catching this coronavirus. And while it's not a terrible thing for most people, it can be very serious for others. And so we want, Lord, to not be involved in spreading this, this virus or getting it ourselves. We don't want to see us getting anybody else sick, especially our, our beloved uh, older members and family members. And we also ask that you would help us and help the whole world and all the doctors and scientists who are working to try to find a, a, a vaccine, a, a way of curing this, this disease. We pray that uh, it would quickly dissipate and we would be able to go back to living the way that we're used to. Lord, help us to not be afraid. Help us to not be panicking. Help us to not be mean to people who come from places like China or Korea where the virus is there. We, we, we don't need to be afraid of them or not go to Chinese restaurants or anything like that. Or be mean to people from Asia. Help us to share your love wherever we go. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys. We will see you guys.